Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal, Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2020 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video. So today we're going to be taking a look at my DVDs with snapper cases, like particularly like movies, TV shows, action films, fantasy films, and a couple of some anime that I have on these DVD snapper cases that I picked from my anime collection, I guess. So, without any further ado, which is right here and right now, let's review this DVD. So, the DVDs of snapper cases with genre categories today, which is on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing this video. Sorry, I have to move the train because the lighting. Anyway, so I have picked some genre categories that I have from my DVD collections videos. The ones that are the DVD snapper case. I can't find my Merlin and the Dragons DVD, but it's in the guitar case. But that I'll probably save for the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library series video. Which is probably for the most part. Which I'm kind of like saving it for the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library videos. Which is probably at one point. Which is probably like... I guess what you call it, like, probably for the most part, I guess. So, without any further ado, which is right here, right now, let's begin with the DVDs. The ones I have to pick from under, starting with this. The first one I have is My Dog Skip. This is the only DVD I got from Warner Home Video, because I know there's got some two feature-length audio commentaries on there, and it has all the other extras on the DVD by the same DVD disc based content oh sorry about that because you know mostly these DVDs that are released by Warner Home Video here's the disc this is the standard edition and on the back is the widescreen edition which is probably in the flipper disc because, you know, there's both versions, like the widescreen and the full screen version. It's probably on the... M most DVDs are. And these most... Particularly the... DVD disc-based content are. Which I have. Oh, and I forgot to show you. What I got. And also... Speaking of disc based content, I have The Perfect Storm with George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Yeah, this basically has some more extras on there, which includes the three behind the scenes featurettes and includes three feature length filmma filmmaker, audio author, craftsperson commentaries. This includes photo montage, conceptual art gallery with director commentary, and it has storyboard galleries and uh, filmographies and others, what you find in this DVD disc-based content on this. Because this is the only DVD I have of The Perfect Storm, which is probably a best movie I got. Oh yeah, so basically, this movie has is directed by Wolfgang Peterson. This basically, like, particularly one of... The, those greatest movies I've ever seen before. And also, here's the disc. It's in a snapper case. And there's only like 20... I think there's only like 39 chapters of the movie on there. Yeah, because... What can you do? It's a... This DVD only has 39 chapters on these chapter selections, I guess. The next I have Samurai Jack, the premiere movie. This is basically like the pilot movie of the Samurai Jack TV series. This has a bonus episode, which is a 22-minute episode. There's also the complete series on there, 
There's some more extra based content extras on it on this DVD disc based content. This was a two, this is a 2001 Warner Home Video release of Samurai Jack the motion picture I have. And there's only like six chapters on this DVD. Yeah. So that's partly the TV show category ones. This is the only Samurai Jack DVD I have. There is also the complete series available on DVD or Blu-ray. I might as well pick it up on Blu-ray at one point, because it's made by Gendy Tartakovsky. Yeah. Who did the 2003 Star Wars The Clone Wars series and other works he has done. The next one I have is the Guilty Pleasure Childhood, what others refer to, or this is my childhood movie, Space Jam. You know, this is the only DVD I got that I showed you in my most recent video where I showed you my... <clears throat> the DVDs that I got from the book sales at libraries, I guess. Here's the disc. This is particularly in a snapper case. There is also the re the standard edition one. And here's some more extras like on there. That were is available on this only on this DVD. But you don't find very often, like some free extras on that you can just the buy four get one free DVD ones. If you get from the ones either HBO, New Line Cinema, or Warner Home Video on there. This includes the DVD regional coding one. And this one includes and there's all there's only 38 chapters on this DVD. There's also the regular Oh yeah, this movie's also available on Blu-ray, I guess. And next I have is The Matrix. I got this is the first time I get to own The Matrix on DVD because this is when people started buying Blu-ray DVD players. Because this was released in 1999. Yeah, and this comes in a it's in a snapper case. And there's some more extras on this flapper thing on this cover. If you open this up, like a two-page cover thing on this DVD. Yeah, there's some more extras on the DVD, including the feature-length audio commentary and the music-only audio track with commentary by composer Don Davis on there. And it has HBO First Look on the making of The Matrix, which is probably the behind-the-scenes documentary on on this particular DVD. There is also the 4K Ultra HD release of The Matrix on available on... I might as well pick it up at one point. Yeah, because... Uh, as, unless you want to get another edition of this on Blu-ray like at one point at one of these days. You can't go wrong with The Matrix. You gotta love this one. You know, Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, great movie. But particularly, this includes web events and chat room access and includes Ancest fe features for your DVD ROM PC on there. And this includes some more extras on the, the back of the DVD on this DVD disc based content, I guess. Because that'll get you going. Because this is particular. It's also available on Blu-ray, I guess. The next I have is Lady Hawk. This is my favorite fantasy film, fantasy movie from the 80s. It's directed by Richard Donner, who did the Lethal Weapon movies and the Goonies. But Lady Hawk is the all-time favorite classic. Yeah, because I did a DVD comparison and Blu-ray comparison of Lady Hawk, like, which is the most recent video. If you haven't seen it, I'll probably put the link in the description if you want to check out my DVD Blu-ray comparison of... Lady Hawk at one point, which I'll probably do it. And even though I did a movie review on Lady Hawk a while back, this has some production notes and scene access, filmographies, and it has the the trailer on this only on this DVD, which you don't find on the Blu-ray release because I have Lady Hawk also on Blu-ray, which I'll show you in one moment. And also, I have a couple of some anime ones that I have from my anime collection. The ones that are in the particular snapper case kind. This is the Animatrix. It's probably from the creators who did the Matrix trilogy. This is probably like a compilation pieces on anime. 
there are some ex on the back in there. There are some of the, the episodes. Some of them were great. Some of them were eh. Some of them were not that great. On these episode, those nine short film episodes, uh, compilation pieces uh, from the anime movie, such as the Animatrix. But this is basically the anime's companion to the Matrix movies. Well, it's made from the creators who did the Matrix trilogy. Hmm, I thought this was supposed to come with a patch, but I'm afraid not. Yeah, there's some more extras on the back of the DVD. This includes special features, including scrolls to screen, the history and culture of anime on there. Cool, because if you're an anime fan, you might always watch it on the special features for, if you enjoy the Animatrix on DVD. There is also available on Blu- the, the Animatrix is also available on Blu-ray, I guess. And it's also available in the deluxe box set one, which it comes with the soundtrack, the Animatrix soundtrack, I guess. And, there, and there's other ones that come with a patch. Some Most releases of the Animatrix did come with a soundtrack, I guess. And the last one I got from my anime collection, M.D. Geist, Director's Cut in Death Force Double Feature DVD. Yep, if you want to pause and read on the back, feel free to read on the back of M.D. Geist anime DVD. I did an anime review on both M.D. Geist OVA and Death Force on my most recent anime review. If you want to check out my anime review on the M.D. Geist. Yeah, this is particularly the image U.S. Manga Corp. release on there. As you see the disc on there. And there's only 28 chapters on there, because this one's basically a double feature of the anime... No, of M.D. Geist. Sorry, I almost said Animatrix. This is M.D. Geist, anyways. I have M.D. Geist, anyways, because this is all I got for today. Speaking of which, it looks like I... That makes sense, because I have a couple of anime DVDs that I picked from my anime collection that are the only two that are in those snapper case ones. And that's all I have for today, for... And I forgot one more thing. Also, speaking of Lady Hawk, I forgot to show you. Also, I picked from my Blu-ray collection. I have my Lady Hawk Warner Archive collection release on Blu-ray that I got a while back. Because, what can you do? Because I got this on Amazon for the first time, by far. If you haven't seen my anim my DVD Blu-ray comparison of Lady Hawk, I'll probably put the link in the description if you want to check out your leisure at some point. And that's all my Snapper Case DVDs with genre categories for today, by far. So that's going to be it for my Snapper Case DVDs with genre categories that I showed you for today's video for today. You guys, thanks for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on that. So, because tomorrow I'm going to be doing my other vid... Well, my anime DVD review on three volumes of Outlaw Star, which is probably in my anime collection, which I'll be doing on Friday, I guess. Because it's been a while since I did my last anime DVD review video. But anyways, because I've been doing some more videos that are made possibly with the physical media video library series, I guess. As part of the DVD collection videos, that's why. Hope subscribe for content at Anime Planet, link in the description down below, share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have Twitter and Facebook and all the social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video. Please feel free to comment in the comment section below on this video if you like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, click on my notifications bell button, check out my videos that I'm uploading as well. And that's all to say. So... We're almost there, devoting to, because, you know, Monday I'm going to be doing my Transformers VHS and DVD collection, which I'll be doing to, on Monday, because Tuesday I'm going to be doing, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm doing a four-part videos of my anime collection, because I'm getting closer to the devoting, that's why. This is Ruroni K95 saying, thank you for watching my video, and I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you enjoy it, hope to see you soon for the next video, and hope you have a great day. Day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off, and thank you for watching my video that is made possibly with the physical media video library series by far.